Me okay? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Just wanna make sure that while we get into this, you can hear me. Let's see. Can I please join your live? Yes, yes you can. I'm gonna let you guys in in a second. As soon as we're done prepping these veggies, we'll get into it. Actually, you know what? Who wants to chop this onion with me on live? Who has an onion ready to chop and get into so we can do it together and I can show you a little trick if you've ever struggled with chopping an onion? Let me know. Somebody say me and I'll request you. Let's see, yes. Request. Let's view the requests here. And Katrina Skinner. Let's do Katarina Skinner. Okay. Hopefully, you sent a request, so hopefully you're ready. Let's see. Yay! Hi! Hi! Hello. I was not expecting that. You're not I'm looking? Just, I'm actually I'm chasing my 18 month old around. About to start the Okay, you get a pass. Thank you for even yeah. watching. Yeah, I just wanted to say hi, but that's awesome. Thanks. So what are you sweet. making? Pardon? What are you guys make? What are you making? We are making weeknight turkey chili, super easy, done in like 25 minutes. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay, I'll have to try it. I'll All keep right. watching. Thank you so much. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Okay, there's Chu, guys. She wanted to say hi. Okay, I'm down. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back. Let's get into our onions. So I'm just gonna separate my bell pepper here. Hopefully you guys have chopped up all of your bell pepper. Who is ready to get into an onion? Me. Let's see, view. All right, cook shop mom. I'm calling you in. Cook shop mom. Oops, sorry baby. Hi girls. Let's see. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, are you cooking? I am, I am, yeah. I, got, I have a half you, onion, if perfect. that's okay. Perfect, perfect, yeah, so I'm just gonna slice into mine, and then we'll okay. walk through, did you take the peel off of yours yet? Um, most of it. Okay, cool, so I feel like based on your Instagram handle name, you know what you're doing. <laughs> Is this the case? How do you, how do you typically slice your onion? Hey, Stefan. Hi. <laughs> this, is my, uh, this is my husband here. We met you at your um, Las Vegas restaurant when you guys had your grand opening. But <laughs> oh, yeah. So Thank you for great. coming through. Yeah, for sure. So you're in Vegas. No, I'm actually in Phoenix. Oh, oh cool, cool, cool. Yes, I mean, people live in Vegas. They ask me that question all the time. Oh, my what goodness. did he say? Okay, you be careful. All right. So typically, everybody watching at home, I take I can my go this it way. flat, smooth side down. I leave okay. this part on. This actually prevents you from crying. Oh, wow. uh, little old wives' tale. It works for me. <laughs> um, and I like to make slits, just slices right down like that, about two or three. And this will give us a quick and easy dice. And then down the sides like so, not all the way through, because you don't want it to fall off. And then you're able to just run your knife through smoothly, smoothly like so. <laughs> and then you have diced onion. It's that simple. Awesome. Nothing All right, ever needs to be that hard. I hope you enjoy this chili recipe. Yes. So, so excited. excited. All right. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Oh, we'll keep. Sorry. Going. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ooh, what a we're not making drinks yet. Okay, we're gonna open our cans because this is all about, you know, recipes that are appropriate for this time with things that are easy to find. Canned goods are the wave right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open all my cans and then we're gonna get to the stove and get cooking. I'll reposition this camera and we'll be good to go. What'd you say, facts? All right. I'm your hype man. You're my hype man? I love it. All right, so crushed tomatoes open. I'm gonna put this at the stove over here. We're gonna open our pintos and our kidney beans. Do you wanna um? Yes. Do you know how to open cans? Yes. Okay. All right, you can open this glass can. 
I'm gonna grab the turkey from the fridge and then we'll get into it. Nice art workout, you know. Drain that. Nice and easy. Bum, bum, bum. Is anybody else playing Bitty Bitty Bum Bum right now on the playlist? Okay, should you open this last um, can? I'm going to move all my things. Watch out, girls. Careful, careful, careful. Set this over here. Set my knife over here. I'm What's free. up, girls? Position my camera. God bless you. You're fine. All right, let me unplug this. Oh, Shannon. Brian, put on my skirt. Brian, oh, no, back she up. Turn the camera so she can see you all the I'm sure all the parents out there totally get it. All right, so here's our stove. This is, oh, you're back. Wow. Wow, Ryan. Okay, I'm going to grab the turkey. Okay, mommy. Turkey, turkey, turkey. All right. right. So we are going to start by heating up our Dutch oven here. This just happens to be the Dutch oven from my line. Um, But... (laughs) He doesn't know how to open no. the can. He doesn't know how to open the can. It's actually the best can opener. No, it's not. It's actually your the best. No, it it is actually the best can opener. It's so simple. It's a sweet July. And all you have to do is pop the top off. He doesn't know how to open the can. <laughs> all right, so we're going to let this heat up. We have our bell pepper, onion, garlic, my turkey, pound, pound of brown. Right here, I've got my herbs and spices. Today we're using oregano. We are not using that. We're using oregano, chipotle chili powder, black pepper salt, and a little cumin, which I feel like is nice and special and fragrant and nutty and aromatic. It's gonna be delicious. Yes. What really is chili? I should have done more research. But I just want to say chili is cooked down ground meat, or if you're vegan, could be mushrooms, beyond meat, um, lentils, whatever you have. And you're kind of quick stewing with tomatoes and spices. It's comfort food. It's definitely comfort food. So I have my turkey here. He is so loud. He, do you know what that celebration was for? He got the can open. I'm wearing half of this can. Small victories. No, it does not go into my pan. Thank you. You can you can drain that liquid out, and we'll use it in a little bit. So I'm going to put my couple tablespoons of olive oil into my Dutch oven. I have my pound of ground here. And I, it, so the recipe calls for two tablespoons of kosher salt. I like to salt as you go along. So three finger pinches as you layer in the ingredients. And that'll amount to about two tablespoons once all is said and done. So I'm gonna go ahead. Let me grab some towels, little mama. Okay, mommy. Oh, get your feet off my counter. Thank you. Thank you. Down, down. All right. So I have my turkey here. I'm just gonna get it into our Dutch oven. And again, I'm gonna layer in a little bit of salt and pepper. Oh, that sizzle. I love to hear it. Love me a little sizzle. All right, so a three finger pinch a little bit of black pepper. We're gonna mix that around. So we just wanna get this turkey browned a little bit. You don't wanna overcook it. So that's the thing with chili, right? People tend to get the meat in and then they layer in all of the things and by time all is said and done, your ground meat is more gritty and chalky than meaty. And so we are just gonna cook this down a little bit so that it gets nice and brown. Um, And then we're actually gonna remove it and coat in all of those little bits of flavor, the onions, the garlic, the bell pepper, beans, seasonings, then add our meat back in, then our liquid, and our magical maple syrup that's gonna change the game. You do one thing, don't leave the maple syrup out. You can leave one of the beans out, you can leave you can leave the meat out don't leave the maple syrup out all right who wants to show me who wants to show me their meat we're not doing that who wants to show me the progress on their ground turkey let's see no it's not 
Okay, how's it going, everybody? You good? I want to see all the hearts and all the things to know it's going good. You can also ask questions along the way, and I'd be happy to answer them. So a couple minutes, about four minutes on this ground turkey, and then we'll remove it into a bowl and move on to the rest of our veggies, okay? Someone said, how's Cannon doing? Cannon's great. He's back there playing with his cars. He is such a boy, y'all. It is it is so oh, different for me. <laughs> his favorite word right now is lawnmower. The girls wanted me to tell you. Um, he is just so freaking into cars and dinosaurs and lawnmowers. It's very new to me. Hey, well, very new. Whoever says slow down on the, uh, on the comments, that's how I feel. I can't slow down. This is how this is the cadence, guys. This is how because we prepped all of our ingredients, so everything's ready to go. And you just got to get it into the pot and keep things moving. Uh, yeah. Does anybody want to show me their turkey? Well, how about once we get some of um, like the bell pepper, the onions, the garlic in, I will live somebody in to check your progress. So I'm just removing my turkey here. Again, the reason we're removing it is because we don't want to overcook it. But we wanted to get as much browning as we could onto that ground turkey. There's so, some really good questions in there. I know you're guys, um, you're you're really lucky today. I clean my I clean my stove top for you. It's typically because we cook so much, it's typically messy, but I didn't want y'all getting in, getting getting on me about my stove top because I know how y'all get. You want to answer some of the people's questions? Yeah, I would love to answer questions. Where did you, you're such a where did you get the yeah. idea for maple syrup? So I, I guys, I'm like Buddy the Elf. I put, I'm adding a little bit more oil to my pan here. I'm like Buddy the Elf. I put maple syrup on everything. It's a little embarrassing, um, but I'm Canadian and I grew up on maple syrup. I once um, made maple syrup lollipops in the snow in the seventh grade. So oh, took so the cool. sap straight from the tree. That's so cool, mommy. Um. That, they think it's cool. That's all that matters. So I'm getting it. I like it and everything. I like the depth of flavor that it brings instead of using traditional sugar sometimes. And when it's not maple syrup, it's brown sugar. But this, I want it a little to, to make it a little special. Does this freeze well? And if so, how long? Oh, yes. So this freezes amazing. Um, you, as long as it's in an airtight container, I'd say like a month or two, it's good to go. This is the perfect make-ahead dish. You can also make this at the beginning of the week um, and keep it in the fridge. Um, so if you make it on like a Sunday or a Monday, it's totally fine to eat on a Friday, you guys. And the flavor just builds as it sits in the refrigerator. So we have our onion in the pot right now. Again, seasoning in layers. So salt, pep on those onions. What if we don't have... A Dutch oven at home will it cook the same? If you don't have a Dutch oven at home, you just want a deep pot. Whatever deep pot you have that can hold all of the ingredients will work just fine. Just fine. What temp should the stove be? So I have my stove on medium high. I like to cook things um, on relatively high heat. So this is medium high. Here's my onions with all of those extra little turkey bits in there. So once your onions look like this, you are ready to add in your bell pepper. Don't add in your garlic yet. You don't want your garlic to burn. That'll be the last thing that we chopped that will go in. So in goes my bell. Again, you want to salt and pep in little layers. Just like so. Cook those down for a couple minutes. I want to check your progress. Who wants to show me what they're working with? While you're looking, will agave work like syrup? Agave works fine. Um, you won't get that same flavor profile, but agave works just fine. So, about 30 seconds on the bell peppers, and then in go your garlic. Hey, this is for the kids. Yeah. How do you get your kids to like these recipes? They're so gourmet. Why do y'all like them? Um, yeah, why do you guys like my chili? Because it's so yummy. So just keep making yummy things, and then eventually they'll eat them. It's true. I, so since they could 
eat solids, I made sure to add in like herbs and spices into their food. So even as a baby, when they were trying applesauce, right? Mm -hmm. Like I would add in a little bit of cinnamon to their applesauce or a little bit of nutmeg and just building those profile, flavor profiles from the time they're little, I think has helped. Say what's up to uh, Marlana Crawford too, who says Sweet July Magazine is the best magazine that she's read over all other magazines in the world. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. I appreciate it. That is really sweet. We worked really hard on this this first issue, um, and I'm really happy you feel that way. I, I, the intention was to make everybody proud, so thank you. Okay, we need to get into our, our spices, but I want to see somebody. So somebody, let me know they want to come in and just show me their progress. We're going to get these herbs into the pan, into the pot, and let them get fragrant for a couple of seconds. So I'm going to put my oregano in. Did you drain the beans? Black no, pepper. I did. <laughs> Stefan drain the beans. Yes, you want to make sure you drain them. We're just going to use a little bit of this chili powder right in there. Oh, a teensy more salt. We have our pepper and our quarter teaspoon of cumin. So this is very important. <laughs> Don't leave this out. So we're just going to let this get really fragrant for a couple of minutes. Uh, Miss Chris Fit, we're going to do a quick rundown of all the steps after browning the meat. Real quick. Can you do it? So a quick rundown quick. of all the steps after browning the meat. We took Real the quick. meat out of the Dutch oven. Yeah. We added in our onions to a little bit more olive oil. Cooked that down for a minute. Yeah. Added in, oh, layering the salt and pepper as we go. Yeah. We added in the bell pepper. Then we added in our garlic. And now we've added in our herbs and spices. Oh, Shireen, way to go, Shireen. Shireen's giving some commentary. So She's now our out. turkey goes back in, you guys, just like so. And we're going to start adding in now our beans and our tomatoes. Ooh. Beanies in. Where's my other beans, babe? I'll be grab my beans. Yeah. There's our beans. You can use fresh beans if you have them. That's better. You just need to let this cook down for a little bit longer and add a little bit of... Um, chicken stock or veggie stock to uh, the mixture here. I'm going to add in my crushed tomatoes. Crushed tomato. Did you drain the turkey meat before? I did not drain the turkey meat. So that's the thing with turkey, right? It doesn't give off a ton of oil. This is a very lean chili. Um, so there's not going to be a ton of oil, which is why I had to add a little bit more olive oil to my Dutch oven um, before I put the onions in because there's not, there's not much going on. Uh, so Jessica with two A's, mm -hmm. three, four A's. That's yeah. I think I said that right. Mm -hmm. Asked about the bean brand. I'm gonna show her the bean brand once we uh, um we're add somebody in right now. Pick Pope Nemes J. I'm adding you in. Here we go. So we're gonna cut that. You wanna honey Be bean brand. The ba the brand doesn't matter. Okay, this is not a sponsored. Bean Hi. Brand. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you cooking? Yeah. Oh, let me see. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 please, that's please. Not nice. Nice. <laughs> okay, I love, Thank you for even tuning I in. I love Curry. I oh. love Curry. Oh, my God. I love you, Curry. <laughs> Thanks for the love <laughs> for Stefan. Yeah. Let's, Brittany, Leo Sun 2208. I'm coming in to check your progress. Why are you laughing? <laughs> You're being so loud. All right, y'all. Hi. Hello. This looks like a kitchen. Are you cooking? Hello. Hi. 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 Uh oh, you didn't know you were. <laughs> I did not even notice. I am so sorry. Let's yes, see your cooking. progress. So I have to use white onion. I just got all the spices in there. Nice. Trying to keep up nice. with you. It looks great. Do you, have your, do you have your spices and you're going to let them get fragrant for a little bit and then start laying yes. them back in all your ingredients? Yes. And I have my turkey. Like the easiest. Here. Nice. Ooh, this makes me so happy. Can I tell you to come say hi? This is my son. Hi. Hi, hi. handsome. What's <laughs> your name? You can't hear. I have my son. What's your name? Can you say Adrian? 
Nice to meet you, Adrian. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's looking great. I can't wait to see the finished product. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Guys, this is so cool that you, some of you guys are actually cooking. I mean, I can't. Ah! So get... cool. I'm going to add in the maple syrup yeah, now. All right? So a tablespoon or two of maple syrup, depending on how sweet you like it. We're going to mix that in. Again, I've lowered my heat to medium low. So this is going to simmer. It's not a joke. Everything's in the pot. The work is done, to be honest. So all we're going to do is let these flavors mend. Uh, I'm going to taste it right now and see. You always want to wait till the end. You can always, um, you can always put more salt in or put more flavor in. You can't take it away. So I always wait to the end here to taste and see what final layer of flavor I need. So I'm gonna grab my little, oh my God. It's all, literally, if you didn't want this to simmer, you could eat it right now and it would be perfect. It's so good, yes, in a second. I'm gonna add in just a pinch more salt and a little more pepper. And then guys, I'm gonna pop the lid on and let this simmer while we make a drink. We make drinks! Okay, look, this is where we are, right here. So I'm gonna pop that lid on, and we're gonna let this bad boy simmer. And then once our drink is done, typically you wanna let it simmer for at least 20 minutes. But once our drink is done, I think we can go ahead and plate. Um, let's, let's get into the schmacking cocktail. Girls, I will make you something different after this is done, okay? Okay. Okay. Can you do me a huge favor and go and keep your brother company and yeah. then play? Okay. okay. You can watch from, from right behind. You're in the same house as me right now. Okay, guys. So I wanted to just show you something that's really special to me and that was one of the most exciting things about me being able to have this magazine. I mean, it's such a privilege and an honor. I take it very seriously. Um, a lot of effort was put into this, but my mom has always wanted to write. Um, and she always has, but just privately in her own space. And so the coolest thing about this magazine, one, is that I got to have all of my closest friends, for the most part, there was a bunch of people missing, but 10, 10 of some of my closest friends and family um, like my mom and my grandma. And not only that, but my mom is also going to have her own column, every single issue, just about her journey, her thoughts, her wisdom. It's my mom, Carol. She's at Jamaican Glamour on Instagram. And I've been lucky enough during this shelter in place that we've quarantined together, so I'm spoiled. So mommy, come say hi. So everyone, she showed up just in time for the cocktail. Hi. This is my mom, Jamaican Glamma. <laughs> Her real name's Carol. But yeah, my mom was born in Jamaica. Um, spent half of her childhood in Canada, where I was born. Um, and has seen it all, done it all. And I'm just so happy to be able to have this generational magazine. I feel like it hasn't been done before, where it appeals to kids um because riley has a column in the magazine and it's pretty cool to people like you who are in like the next chapter but young and fresh and fabulous and then me like young mom trying to freaking figure it out <laughs> love you mama so love check it out if you buy it for any reason buy it for that right right you want to come and show them your your column and then we'll get into the cocktail Yay! so also in every column hi wait oh wait oh <laughs> i thought somebody was it was my shadow! What happened? It was my shadow! Wait, I saw my shadow! <laughs> Doesn't it look like a split screen though? Okay. So, Riley is a young budding writer. She, she journals every single day. Um, her spelling already, she's seven, but your spelling and the way that you write is so beautiful already. She, She's a songwriter. She does it all. I already got one. 
So for this um, issue, we have a column called Hey Mom. And this is going to be, we'll show them. This is going to be a column where Riley basically gets to ask me anything. So, you know, the magazine can only be so long, so big. Um, there were so many questions she asked me. Uh, and of course, only a couple could make it into this column. We'll have to do a little podcast or a chat or something to talk about the rest of them. But she did a phenomenal job interviewing me and writing, and I'm so proud of you. Tell everyone, um, you know, why you wanted to have this column in the magazine. You don't know? I don't, I don't know. What, what excites you about it? That I get to ask some many questions and that I get to have all the answers to them. No! And that all the answers are going to it's so great. All the answers are great, but thank you. I, I bet in about 10 years you won't feel that way, but I appreciate it now. I love you. Okay, you guys go over there. I'm going to get into this drink. So the drink's super simple. Again, it's a weeknight. I've got kids. Some, I'm sure some of you at home have kids. People are working from home, sheltering in place. It needs to be quick, fast, and easy. So I have my cocktail shaker here. I'm going to start out with one cocktail. And as I answer your questions, I'll make some more. So I'm going to put an ounce and a half to two ounces of mezcal. This is what's bringing the smoky, y'all. So instead of using traditional tequila, we are using mezcal. Any type of mezcal you like. Um, but that's what lends that smoky flavor to the cocktail that I think pairs so well with that cumin and the chili powder in the chili. So in goes our mezcal. I am going to, um, I am going to put two ounces in mine. Boop. And then you want to add a little bit of Chambord. I think I said three quarters of an ounce. I'm not sure. Um, but I know you guys all have the recipe ahead of time. Then you want to add a little lime juice. So I have a fresh lime here that I'm going to juice out. But honestly, if you're doing store-bought, I really like this brand, Nellie and Joe's, because it's just what I grew up watching everyone use. Um, and so I'm going to juice my lime, but you can literally use the juice that you buy from the store if you want. Well, I can't find my lime juicer. It's fine. We'll improvise. We'll improvise. I'm going to use my lemon juicer. Um, I said drinks. Tootsie, you have any questions for me? We have a column too called Connected. It won't be us every time. Um, but it'll feature some sort of life relationship, whether it's between sisters, it's between mother and daughter, whether it's between husband and wife, boyfriend and girlfriend, whatever the situation is, we're going we're gonna to dive into it um, every single issue. And I, I think relationships are so dynamic it's and about, different. Yes. It's about taking your relationship to a new level. When you uh, have been at home for nine weeks, you got to look at this mean, nasty, no haircut mug for nine months i mean nine weeks and see if you still got the love you know that's that's the test right i here. think i think we still have the love you like the scruff i love okay. your scruff i love the scruff I you're talking about scruff. real deep things in sweet july real deep. Connected. um so in goes the oh my god in goes the lime juice i'm gonna add a little bit more because even though it just went in my face it wasn't that um yeah. and then our star of the show that pairs well with the chili again or maple syrup so just a splash mm. or a half a teaspoon mm. can you give me a cup of ice babe oh, so i can shake this bad boy people from davidson summit coffee a... <gasps> hey we actually have some very um exciting things happening here at sweet july with um caffeine but we'll get into that later Mommy, can I watch um, here? some ice, please? A cup of ice. Yes, you're fine. Just don't touch anything because this okay, is grown up anything. stuff. Okay. So, guys, this is the cocktail. I feel like it's definitely five past five o'clock on the East Coast. It's almost five o'clock here. Totally appropriate. <laughs> you found um, black somewhere. I mean, this is the way. So, I, I, I just, I guess, I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you firsthand how truly easy these recipes are. And how you can do them with chaos, in the midst of chaos and many things happening. I had to do it with nerves in front of all of you. But it's done. And it's 439. 
Um, and we, I was able to talk and converse and still get the meal on the table. And that's the way that I cook. That's so whenever you go to a recipe of mine that's out in the in the internet or in the cookbook, <laughs> um, just know it's going to be easy and fast, um, but still full of flavor and delicious. Because mm -hmm. that's the stage I am at in life right now. The kids are seven, four, and one. So we're in the thick of it. So Sorry. in goes a little ice. I put just enough ice to layer the cocktail so I don't have to add ice into the glass. That's the way I like it. It's frothy. Thank you, thank you, Shelly, Stefan's uh, fairy godmother, for this beautiful glass she got me to celebrate when my cooker launched. Then a white and a So we're just going to shake it. If you don't have a shaker, it's fine. Um, use a spoon, whatever. Put two cups together, shake those. You got it. But if you do have a metal shaker at home, this one's from my line also. I think we'll do some swipe ups or something after this in case you like anything that you saw. But you want to wait until it gets sort of icy and frothy so you can do that. Um, and then we have a smoky maple margarita. Smoky maple margarita. Somebody really wanted their drink. Okay, I will wipe it. That's how you do it. Bone apple tea. Bone apple tea. That is delicious. Mommy, you want this first one? All right, y'all. So that that's our drink. That's all there is to it. It's a smoky and a spicy. You know, you don't like smoky drinks, huh? Mommy. If you don't like smoky. You can totally do it with um, regular tequila, your favorite tequila of your choice. Um, really doesn't matter. I like a good smoky cocktail, and I think it pairs well with the chili, but whatever you prefer. Cheers, everyone, for real. Thank you for coming and celebrating with us. Um, it's really exciting, and it's just the beginning. Um, the whole premise of Sweet July, um, somebody asked earlier, like, where did it come from? How did you come up with the name? So I got married in July, Stefan and I, and all three of you children happened to be born in July. Totally wasn't planned. We actually tried to conceive Ryan for well over half a year, seven, eight, nine months, something like that. Still happened the exact same time. And so July's always been, July, KK, you wanna come say hi? July's always been a really happy time for us that's full of gratitude and excitement and eventfulness and mindfulness and just like heightened levels of happiness, all of the things. You want to say hi? Okay, <laughs> say hi. Um, and so I wanted to carry that into everyday life. And I wanted everybody to take on that mantra of figuring out whatever your sweet July is, that time in your life when you feel the most joyful and figure out what that something is that makes you feel like that during that time and find small, small ways, start small, but small ways to implement that little bit of happiness into your everyday life and just find gratitude. So that's what my sweet July is. I'd be interested in what yours is. Say hi to people. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You want to go see daddy? No. Okay. Give me a kiss. No. Okay, give me a kiss. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, oh. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> this see is... daddy. You want to go see daddy? Yeah. Okay, go see daddy. See daddy. Okay, go see daddy. Okay. So, yeah, see that's daddy. Sweet July. And we want, we want this to feel like a safe space. We want the magazine to feel like a safe space. We want it, as we say internally, um, my team and I, we say we want Sweet July to be a place where, um, you know, newcomers, people that are new, have never seen it before, feel like regulars. And we're regulars, those of you that have been following along forever, even pre-Sweet July, feel at home. So just like a safe space for everyone. And with that, our chili is done. Ryan, do you want to do me, get this off the counter? Do you want to do me a favor and grab me a bowl? One of the small deep bowls. So we're going to plate up this chili. Let's get into it. Let's check it out. I cannot wait until after this to look at the tag photos and see your finished chili products. So if you, um, if you made some chili yourself at home and you were watching, or if you weren't watching and you had to make it earlier, later, whatever, we want to see it, so tag me in it. I want to see. Oh, baby. Oh, yes. 
So that looks perfect. Oh, yeah. So this can keep simmering if you want it to, but I just want to plate a little bit of it up just to show you. Uh, so I have my bowl here, and I'm just going to take a little bit of my chili and plate it. Just like so. And then we will go back to our first spot where we started this whole thing. And we will close this out in a minute. But we want to garnish and taste, of course. So garnishes. You can do a little avocado. You can put a fresh lime on the side. Any cheese you like. I have triple cheddar here. I'm just going to put some of this triple cheddar. Vegan cheese if you're vegan. No cheese if you're not feeling it. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of cheese on the top there. I have a little bit of fresh sour cream. Just like so. Little dollop. And then we have our gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous green onions. I love a good garnish. I like the way it rounds out the dish. Gives a little crisp bite to that chili since it's all cooked down. It just gives us something to crunch into. Something fresh and herby. So I'm just cutting. So yes. Guys, mm. that's it. There's our chili. That was so fast. The hour on the Instagram Live isn't even up yet. That's our gorgeous chili. I'm going to let mine simmer on the stove for a little bit. I know Stefan's probably going to want to eat this one. But those flavors are going to continue to mend. I will answer two more questions before we do the I am a head out. So any more questions? Okay. Oh, somebody said, I won't, I won't count this as one of the two, but somebody asked, what retailer carries your products? So it's great right now. Um, actually, if you go on Amazon, I have a whole store on Amazon where stuff can get shipped directly to your home pretty fast. Um, it's also sold Target online. It's sold online um, at Macy's. It's sold online at Wayfair um, and QVC. So all over the place. Um, we'll, we'll, again, we'll, we'll provide some swipe ups, but this is about Sweet July. I'm happy you guys are interested in the product, but this is all about Sweet July. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please, if you can, if you're out safely and see the magazine, feel free to pick it up or you can order online. Cook all of the recipes. Again, there's 22. We will do this again, probably something from the girls brunch section of the magazine. Um, again, it's like a mini cookbook, so full of quick, easy things. I am going to, oh, somebody said, how often will the issues be released? So the issue, it's a quarterly magazine, so every couple of months, so four times a year, um, the magazine will come out, which I feel like is nice. We, we made sure we did like a premium quality magazine full of content so that you could go back to it for months and months. Um, yeah. Like, even down to the quality of the paper <laughs> was an important thing for me. Like, making sure that the touch and feel to it was really nice. So we have this matte finish that just feels so luxe, and it looks nice on the coffee table, in my opinion. Um, somebody said, where can we get the magazine? We will send links. And we'll, we'll put links after this here on the feed. Somebody else said, can we subscribe? So we don't, not yet, but hopefully with the next issue, you'll be able to subscribe to the magazine so that it automatically comes to you once it comes out. Um, can we show you our plate? Yes, please, 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 please. Tag me um, in the pictures. Tag Sweet July in the pictures. I want to see it. I'm going to post some of, the, some of the finished dishes that you guys tag me in on my Instagram. Um, so that we can, so that I can relish in the moment that you guys cooked one of my recipes. I'm so excited. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We're definitely going to do this again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was so much fun. I got to make two more cocktails for my man and my mama. Cause I ended up taking this one and a couple of non-alcoholic beverages for the kids. Oh, okay. He took my drink. Whatever. Listen, um, if you're cooking for your kids and they're 
not into the spice, just leave the chili powder out. It's fine. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time. That's the first Sweet July live in the books. Woo! Thank you. Love you, Chuchi. Thank you for being so supportive. This is my life. That's my eardrum. Going bye-bye. Everybody, thank you so much for real. Bye. Okay. That was great, baby.